a line l is perpendicular to y is equal to 2x plus 10 we can see that the line 2x plus 10 so it's y intercept is 10 and x intercept is negative 5 so we can draw the line like this and our required line is perpendicular to it and such that it touches the parabola y square is equal to 4 times of x minus 9 that is y minus 0 whole square is equal to 4 into 1 times of x minus 9 so it's the center is 9 comma 0 vertex of the parabola we can say the vertex is 9 comma 0 we can say here and the parabola is Now our line perpendicular to this line and drawn which becomes a tangent at some point P and then what is the distance between the point of contact and origin. So origin is here and the distance between these two points we need to find. Say OP. OP distance we need to find. Okay, since the given line y is equal to 2x plus 10, so the perpendicular to or we can say let the line perpendicular to y is equal to 2x plus 10 be y is equal to minus 1 by 2x plus c because we know that two lines are perpendicular m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 when the slope of the first line is given to 2 into m2 is equal to minus 1 so m2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 plus c so that we can write 2y plus x is equal to constant or we can even substitute y is equal to negative 1 by 2x plus c substitute in the parabola since our line is a tangent to this parabola so let us substitute here 1 and 2 so from 1 and 2 we can write c minus x by 2 whole square is equal to 4 times of x minus 9 that is c square plus x square by 4 minus 2 cx by 2 is equal to 4x minus 36 or we can add x square upon 4 minus 2cx upon 2 minus 4x plus c square plus 36 is equal to 0 on simplifying x square minus <coughs> here we can add 4cx minus 16x plus 4 c square plus 4 36 times 120 plus 24 144 is equal to 0 or x square minus of x times of 4 c plus 16 plus 4 c square plus 144 is equal to 0 since a line l is perpendicular tangent to the parabola so it touches at only one point so we can say that its discriminant should be equal to zero so we can say 4 4c plus 16 whole square minus 4c square four times of 4ac four times of 4c square plus 144 is equal to zero and here we can add c plus 4 whole square or 4 square is taken common and here also 4 we can take 4 into 4 common c square plus 36 is equal to 0 so on simplifying we get c plus 4 whole square minus c square plus 36 is equal to 0 that is c square plus 16 plus 8c minus c square minus 36 is equal to 0 so 8c is equal to 36 minus 16 that is 20 so c is equal to 20 upon 8 
or we can write 5 by 2. Now substituting in the line equation y is equal to minus 1 by 2x plus c values 5 by 2 so which implies 2y is equal to negative x plus 5 or 2y plus x is equal to 5 is the required line and also we can say when the line touches the parabola we can find the roots that is we got the equation x square minus 4x times of c plus 4 plus 4 times of c square plus 36 since its discriminant is 0 so we can add the root x is equal to minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4 ac will become 0 divided by 2 into 1 so which is equal to negative or negative 4 times c plus 4 divided by 2 that is 2 times of c values 5 by 2 plus 4 that is 5 plus we can write 8 13 so the x value is 13 when x is equal to 13 substitute in the line equation 2y plus 13 is equal to 5 so we get 2y is equal to minus 8 so y value is negative 4 so therefore point of contact of line L and parabola is say P 13 comma minus 4. Now the distance between distance between origin and point can be taken as under root of 13 square plus minus 4 whole square that is 169 plus 16 so 169 plus 16 is 185 so root of 185 so under root of 185 is the answer we can go with an option b